Ladies and gentlemen, the main event you've all been waiting for. Man versus Machine. Are you ready? I'm Adil Akhtar, CEO and founder of Psionic. I'm here with Dan the Man St. Pierre, and today we're arm wrestling with a bionic hand here at the State Farm Center at the University of Illinois. We've been building the Ability Hand since 2014. Now it's available nationwide. We fitted Dan earlier this year with the Ability Hand, and now we're really ready to put it to the test. But before that, Dan, as someone with a limb difference, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, I lost my hand in 2009 to a work accident. I was a commercial diver and I was working next to a large piece of equipment and it sucked my hand in and it got me right above the wrist. I wasn't active for a while. And then I started seeing more things on the internet um, with people with disabilities and then that led me to a group called Dare to Try uh, right in Chicago, not far from where I live. And I got connected with them and I started getting more active. Started getting out there and doing more para sports. I actually won the para triathlon national championship in 2018 and 2019. And I spent uh, many years trying to find a good prosthetic that worked and did what I needed it to do. And uh, I couldn't find it. So I stopped wearing one for a very long time. So when you originally tried prosthetics, what were those issues compared to what you've got now with the ability hand? Uh, just, I needed more function in the hand. I felt like my body powered wasn't uh, getting me to where it needed to be and the myoelectric I had at the time only opened and closed, so it was very limited. Didn't have, uh, that was the only grip it had, you know. Um, when I left, the very first thing they said was, don't break it, <laughs> so it wasn't that durable. They said, don't get it wet, try not to get it dirty, and it was very heavy. Even wearing it, when the limited times that I did, it, it was like holding up a weight the entire time. And so are you ready to put this thing to the test? Yeah, let's go. Before that, let's see how we got here. It's hard enough for us to build a bionic hand that's fast, has touch feedback, and is easy to use. It's even harder for us to build one for Dan, who's really going to be putting it through the ringer. So we had to come up with a test that would show that the hand is strong enough to survive Dan. So we thought, arm wrestling. If it can survive arm wrestling, it can survive anything. Here's how it'll work. All right, so Dan's left hand is bionic, which means I'm gonna have to go lefty on this one. But we're gonna put our elbows on the table and assume you know a natural position for arm wrestling. So we'll grip it just like this, and then he'll use his muscles to make a power grip around my wrist. And so we'll just go at it at that point. And as we're doing this, right, you know, all the forces are going to be placed on this wrist joint here, so we had to redesign the wrist to be able to withstand those kinds of forces. The tricky thing about this wrist is that it has to be able to rotate and disconnect from the socket, and so that makes the engineering problem a lot harder. So we had to put it through a lot of tests and a lot of prototypes in order to make sure that it could withstand these forces. Here we are in our CNC machine shop with Richie, who's going to explain how our new wrist design works. And here's our new wrist option with mounting tabs, a flange for creating a waterproof connection between the hand and the socket, and ball bearings allowing you to quickly connect and disconnect the hand from the socket. And here it is in real life. So let's get to testing it out. We filled this bag up with 15 pounds of sandbags. We're gonna see how well this hand can hold it. All right, so we're gonna load it in the transverse direction. It's pretty good. And both axially, it's totally fine as well. Let's up the amount. So we brought it up to a 50 pound kettlebell. We'll see how it does on this one. All right. Nice! Yeah! All right, okay, can it do it in the transverse direction? I don't know if I can even do this. Okay, ready? Oh, jeez. Why can't I do this? Yeah! I think we're, I think it's pretty good. Nice. <laughs> to test how much force it actually takes to arm wrestle, we built this load testing setup. I'm going to put my hand through it and then pull against it and it's gonna actually tell us how much force that I'm applying. To do it with the bionic hand, what we're going to do is we're gonna place this rope around the fingers and then we're going to keep ratcheting this rope down to see what the maximum amount of force that the hand can take in the transverse direction to see if it could survive arm wrestling forces. 
Let's go. Let's max this thing out. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see where we're at. 45.8 pounds. So I was able to provide 45.8 pounds of force on this load tester, meaning that our wrist design has to be able to withstand even more than that. But I might be weak, so we're gonna recruit our, one of our mechanical engineers who's much stronger than me to try it out too and see what he gets on the load tester. All right, here we go. <sighs> what did I get? 82.8 pounds. Holy crap! <laughs> So now that we've done our arm wrestling test, we're actually going to hook up the ability hand to the load tester and see how, how much force that it can take for an arm wrestle. Let's go. You ready for this? Let's do it. Oh snap. I don't know what broke. Oh, no. I heard some, Our the, fixture the, broke. The fixture broke. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we weren't expecting that to happen. 61.2 pounds. 61.2 before the fixture before broke. Before the fixture though, right? broke. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it can at least do 61.2. It's stronger than me. Is it stronger than you? We don't, we don't know yet. <laughs> So we rebuilt the load tester so it doesn't break this time. So we have this ratchet here that's bolted down to a stronger piece of aluminum. Um, the rope is attached to the load tester and the tester is attached to the ability hand. We're ready to go, let's do it. Oh. Woo. It was at 137 pounds. <laughs> That's awesome! Woo! <laughs> 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 really? No way. Oh, brutal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we have the damage. You can see that the palms are broken right at the proximal bolts that are holding uh, the palms to our new wrist, but our new wrist is totally fine. It's still attached to the socket side. Yeah, 137 pounds like that way is pretty impressive. I mean, considering that you did you did like what 82 pounds, yeah. right? So, and I did like half of that. But <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely enough for arm wrestling. So Dan's going to have a little bit of an advantage here because his wrist is going to be metal and mine's actually flexible. So, his is going to be stiffer as we go at it in this arm wrestling competition, right? But his residual limb only goes up about halfway on the socket. And the further away the hand is from his residual limb, the longer that lever arm is going to be and the harder it is to produce the torque needed to beat me in an arm wrestling match. So we'll see how it's actually going to go. Let's look at it this way. If I took a wrench and I was applying a torque on this wrench, it would be a lot harder for me to move it when compared to one that has a much longer handle or a much longer lever arm. So imagine this as Dan's forearm. The further away his hand is from his residual limb and his elbow, the easier it is going to be for me to beat him. To explain further, let's take a look at the physics and bring it over to James. Now, the full physics and physiology of an arm wrestling match are pretty complicated, but you can simplify it down to a fairly straightforward physical model without losing too much information, especially if you're gonna be focusing on a factor like forearm length. You might know this equation. Torque is equal to perpendicular force times perpendicular distance. Accordingly, you can rearrange and find that the force, which is gonna be felt here at the middle, is gonna be equal to the torque divided by the perpendicular distance. We find that the perpendicular distance with your elbow 90 degrees is equal to the length of your forearm. Now with two forearms of the same length and two people putting out the same amount of torque, you're gonna find you end up with the exact same amount of force in the middle, the tie. But if you increase the forearm length for someone, as we did with increasing the length of the socket, you also increase the length of the lever arm perpendicular to the axis of rotation. Longer distance, 
smaller force means a one-sided competition. And the only way to get that force back up again is to increase the torque. And that means you gotta bulk up. So obviously, I'm simplifying things and there's a lot more forces and angles at play here, but I definitely have an advantage over him because of the lever arm that he's going to have. We brought the ability hand to Dan's initial fitting at David Rotter Prosthetics in Juliet, Illinois. There, Dave made a socket, a check socket, to fit to his residual limb to check if all the electronics would work and we could attach the hand and use it. And everything was working fine, so Dan and I went at it. We did our first arm wrestling match at David Rotter Prosthetics. <laughs> Unfortunately, he ended up beating me. <laughs> he got the best of me right. that time. But the issue was, was that his check socket was a bit shorter than his right hand. So Dan had to come back for another appointment to get his final socket delivered. Dave had to lengthen the socket a little bit longer so that both of his hands would be the same length. What that did was that it increased the lever arm. So we decided that we were going to arm wrestle again. And this time I beat him. And since this was the final socket, well, I guess we did what we set out to do and the hand withstood all the forces required for arm wrestling. It just turns out that I'm just stronger than Dan. See you guys. Deal. Since our last match, I figured something out. Since the ability hand can only handle about 50 pounds, I've been using these Velcro straps. They've been supporting my entire body weight. It's really been helping me bulk up. I hope you're ready. Check out these videos. Anytime, any place. Let's go. State Farm Center. We go big. I'll be there. Bring it! Bring it! This guy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna win. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event you've all been waiting for. Man versus machine. A historical rematch between two improbable, inconceivable, mortal rivals. For those of you here, and those of you from watching from across the globe, from the engineering powerhouse of the Midwest, Champaign, Illinois, we give you a clash of titans. A ruthless rematch, a callous combat between two peculiar paragons. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? Are you ready? In this corner, the beast from the east, the pugnacious pride of Pakistan. You can see why they call him Iron Man. A stupendous PhD, a remarkable rapper, and the astonishing, amazing founder, inventor, and CEO of Psionic. Doctor! A deal! Double A! Doctor! Yeah! 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 And the challenger from across the seven seas of cornfields, an icon of Illinois, the fearless fighter from Frankfurt, two time national paratriathlon champion! Dan, the man, the holy. Saint Pierre! Gentlemen, you may now approach the table. Gentlemen, do you feel the electricity in the air? It's all led to this. I want a fair, clean, voraciously violent, endlessly entertaining, marvelous match. 
Follow my commands at all times. You may now place your arms on the table. And my signal. Ready, set, go! Champion by unanimous decision, Dan, the man, the holy icon, Saint Pierre! That was a good match. Yeah, it really was. You thirsty? Yeah. You're lucky I didn't crush that. It's water resistant. So, how are you feeling after the arm wrestling match? Awesome. I felt a lot stronger this time. Yeah, you know, um, so even though your hand was actually further away from your residual limb on that final socket, because you'd been working out, you increased your torque to make up for that increased lever arm. And so, yeah, because of your muscles, you were able to generate enough force to beat me, I guess, this time. Increased torque, increased muscles. <laughs> were you afraid that I might beat you again? No. <laughs> this this hand is great. I think the biggest thing for me is durable. Man, this thing will arm muscle with it. And the fingers are still there afterwards. <laughs> like, so it was a crazy experience being in the middle of the arena, arm wrestling, fans. That is gonna be a little smaller, a little, you know, more uh intimate, but that was definitely something else. So it looks like arm wrestling was a success. Yeah, I would say so. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it uh, and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel. We've got so much more exciting content coming out over the next months, and we can't wait to show it to you guys. And remember, the Ability Hand is available now, so if you know anyone who could use one, please contact us. Smash the like button. Smash, smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah.